Hi children, it's Grandma Carla, and we're going to read Annie and Snowball. And this is by Cynthia Ryland, the same author that wrote Mr. Putter and Tabby, which we like so much. So here we go. A new friend. At school, Annie made a new friend. Her friend's name was Sarah, and one day Sarah invited Annie over to play. Does that look like maybe it's the school cafeteria? And there is maybe Annie with her new friend. And her new friend's name was Sarah. Sarah said that Annie could even bring her bunny Snowball. After school, Annie asked her dad if she could play at Sarah's house. Sure, said her dad. And he drove her there. There are the girls having their lunch together and enjoying each other. And then she asked her daddy if she can go to play with her friend at her house. Sarah's house looked like a gingerbread cottage. Wow, said Annie. I like Sarah's house. I bet someone bakes a lot of cookies here, said Annie's dad. Isn't that a cute house with little flowers all over? It does look a lot like a gingerbread house, doesn't it? He knocked on the door, and when it opened, Sarah was there with her mother. Sarah's mother was very friendly. She invited Annie and her dad and Snowball inside. Wow, said Annie. There's Sarah and her mother and Annie and her dad. Sarah's house was just full of frilly things. And frilly things were Annie's favorite things. I like your lamps and your teacups and your flowery chain, said Annie. She likes frilly things, doesn't she? Thank you, said Sarah's mother with a smile. Sarah and I enjoy being dainty. Me too, said Annie. Sarah's mother gave Annie's dad a plate of sparkle cookies. There's the beautiful sparkle cookies. There's Sarah and her mommy that like to be dainty. And the big plate of sparkle cookies. She told him she would bring Annie home in time for dinner. Annie's dad was very happy with his cookies. And when he left, Annie said to Sarah, So what shall we do now? Sarah smiled. I have an idea, she said. There they are, waving goodbye to Dad. And there are the girls deciding what they're going to do. Fairy Tea. Sarah took Annie into the garden. It's so pretty, said Annie. The garden had rows of roses and climbing vines and walls of ivy and lovely stone angels. Isn't that a beautiful garden? Do you see the stone angels? There's one back there. There's one here. Angels made of stone. All the flowers. I love it here, said Annie. Would you like to make a fairy house? Asked Sarah. Do you see her thinking about a fairy house? Fairies like to have tea parties and they need a special garden house just for fairy tea, Sarah said. Annie smiled. Already she was having so much fun. Snowball was having fun too. 
He was nibbling some lavender. Snowball is her bunny, right? Snowball nibbling some lavender. And the fairies in this little uh, make-believe here are enjoying some fairy tea. Sarah and Annie perched, searched for a perfect spot for fairy tea. They found one under the large green leaves of a hosta plant. It's perfect, said Sarah. Nice and private, said Annie. Then they set about making the fairy house. They found a perfect place for their fairy tea. Annie found pieces of walnut shells the squirrels had left behind. The shells would make perfect chairs. Sarah found a nice smooth stone for a tea table. Ooh, look at the girls. Are they getting a little bit dirty in all of their searching? Together they made walls from small rocks and they placed rose petals on top to make them pretty. The girls found small red berries and tiny green pebbles and little pieces of violet. And they're making a beautiful fairy house. And oh my, they're getting so dirty while they do it. Look at the smudges on their faces and their dresses. They found bird feathers in tiny pine cones and they found a bit of bark with a hole in its center. It was a perfect piece for a fairy door. See the feathers, berries, and the little piece of bark with a hole in it. The fairy house looked magical and Annie and Sarah were very proud. Look at that beautiful fairy house. Got chairs and a table and fairy food. I wish the fairies would invite us to tea, said Annie. Maybe someday they will, Sarah smiled. In the meantime, would you like some cookies and milk? Yes, said Annie, and she blew a rose petal off of Snowball's nose and followed Sarah inside. Oh, how dirty. I wonder what Mommy's going to say when she sees them. Home. When Annie star arrived home, she had a frilly hanky that Sarah's mother had given her and a handful of radishes for Snowball. And there she is in her messy clothes, but she is so happy because she had such a good day with her new friend, Sarah. Are there any sparkle cookies left? Annie asked her dad. Oops, said Annie's dad, and Annie smiled. That's okay, she said. I already had cookies and milk. Me too, said Annie's dad, smiling back. Did you have fun at Sarah's house, he asked. Dad had enjoyed those cookies. They're sitting there enjoying each other. Annie thought about the garden and the fairy house and all of the fairy tea parties to come, and she nodded her head. Yes, she said. It was magical. And there they are, all snuggled up. And notice, what is she thinking about? She's thinking about all of the little fairies. And she said it was magical. And this is Grandma Carla. And this was Annie and Snowball, and we'll read more of those too because there are more. This was Annie and Snowball and the Magical House. This is Grandma Carla, and I love you.